everybody out here on YouTube. <laughs> it is I here with Beautiful Beauty. Today is Friday. Okay, so uh, super busy work week and it is come to a close. But anyhow, I wanted to do this video mostly, mainly, more importantly for my friends that have been asking me about my gym module on my car. Um, I have a lot of friends that asked me about it they didn't even people that were uh, familiar with working on cars and things like that they had no idea what a gym module is or was or you know so here I am um, I just want to share this and this is a the technical name of it let me show you the technical name of this is a uh, OEM multi-function gym module this is for a Ford this is what it looks like. This is actually the old one I pulled off my car. So this is the old one. And the condition of it, honestly, I didn't find it to be in that bad a condition, if that makes sense. This is what it looks like. Looks very similar to a uh, motherboard on a CPU computer unit. Basically, that's what it looks like. <laughs> when, I, when I saw it, I'm like, yeah, when I pulled this off, I'm like, yeah, that's what it looks like. Um, okay, so this is what it looks like, and there's a part number back here. Okay, so I'm not sure if we're focused in there or not, but anyhow, um, like I said, I pulled this off my Ford. I am... I'm probably not even going to say what kind. It's it's a Ford, you guys. <laughs> there's some um, there's a crazy person out here on YouTube, so um, not going to tell her what kind of car it is, but it's a Ford. Sorry about that, you guys. Any other time, I would just specifically give you the year, make, model, all that info, but um, that is what it is. So, okay, um, yeah. Now. Um, Actually, I ordered this from the auto parts store and the first time the man initially ordered the wrong gem module. So he had, man, it's really hot today. You know that? I'm going to be cranking on the air conditioner here and I'm just, ugh. and I'm on my way to go work out. But anyhow, uh, the man ordered the wrong one at the auto parts store. Um, I had to wait about another week to get it in. Finally got the correct one in. And um, yeah, and this is the old one. And honestly, um, looking, I don't really see, I, I don't see that much, um, or well, corrosion. I looked for corrosion. I looked to see if um, blown transistors. And I think I do really see uh, some transistors that are definitely blown. And um, yeah, that was the whole issue. Uh, initially, what I had hoped for was, when my car started whacking out, I initially hoped that it was just something simple like the fuse box. So that's what I did was start pulling fuses, check my fuses. My fuses looked good. However, I did replace a few of the fuses, you know, like just in case anyways, you know, they're not blown or anything. I'm going to replace a few anyways. So I started pulling a few fuses uh, from the fuse box, replaced a few of those. Let me take a drink, you guys. Hang on. Okay, so, um, yeah, I just can't, it's really warm today. I'm, I'm so not used to it right now. So my body's like, you know, acclimating to it, so to speak. But, um, yeah, what was I saying? That There goes my thought. I get a little hot. <laughs> I get my workout clothes on right now. I'm getting ready to go work out. And that's probably some of it because I'm wearing, like, long yoga-like pants and a long sleeve type shirt, you know. Um, but, um, God, what was I saying? <laughs> Okay, yeah, so I pulled my, back to the fuse box talk, I pulled my fuse box, pulled a few of my fuses, replaced a few of those, that was not the issue, um, I even looked at my power relays, uh, my power relays were all great, uh, so yeah, so you know, I just thought, okay, yeah, so I'm having electrical problems here, I'm like, okay, no, please, no, um, anytime you run into electrical problems on a car or truck, it's, it, that turns into a, uh, pain in the neck in itself. You know what I mean? You guys really does. I'm like, okay, I hope I don't have really electrical problems here. So anyhow, I kind of got to the bottom of it through process elimination. I figured it out rather quickly that it is in fact indeed this gem module. 
Um, I did get a new one ordered finally <laughs> and I had to make two trips. I picked up the wrong one. Well, the man ordered the wrong one the first time. Not his fault. Easy mistake. Whatever. That's okay. Uh, don't blame him a bit. Uh, he had a really cute dog. He had a really cute tiny Yorkie. I played with his Yorkie. I've got the opportunity to play with his Yorkie twice. I love small dogs. I love Yorkies, poodles, chihuahuas, small dogs. Okay, I had to get my small dog fixed because you, you guys know I, I am the owner of the real deal here, the beautiful beauty assistant, none other than Doberman Pinscher. Okay, so um, yeah, let me tell you what my car was doing. Uh, this is how I initially know I had some trouble, and it was so crazy, you guys. Oh, my goodness. So I walked um, through my garage, and I was going to do something. I don't even remember what I was going to do, but I, all my cars are garage kept, so I baby my cars and keep them, you know, garage kept and basically, if not climate controlled, if you will. But, um, yeah, so I walked through my garage, and I heard this clicking and releasing sound of, like, the power door locks. Locking, unlocking, locking, unlocking, latching, unlatching. You know, I feel like I'm dancing around in the chair. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I'm like, latching, unlatching. Gonna make a song out of this one. Maybe not. Uh, maybe so. But uh, so I thought, what in the world? My locks are locking and unlocking. How creepy. So I go over to my car. I look in through my driver's side window. And, you know, sure as you know it, the power locks are latching on and off. I thought that's crazy. But not only that, the interior lights were going on and off, on and off. And it was perfectly synchronized with my power door locks, locking, unlocking. The lights were uh, switching off and on, dim and bright, dim and bright, just on the interior. The dome light was, you know, whacking out. The running board lights, like on the door, you know, and down low, they were all whacking out simultaneously, uh, you know, in uniformity with the power locks on and off. And I thought, okay, what it totally reminded me of, you guys, I love old movies. Have you ever seen the old movie, Stephen King movie, Christine, where the car is possessed? That, that was my first, that was my first thoughts. I'm like, ah, okay. So my car is possessed like Christine the movie. My YouTube stalker has officially got me. Okay, <laughs> you know what I mean? And one of my friends even made a joke about that. I'm like, that's that, that's funny but not funny you know what I mean um okay so uh you know and I thought oh my goodness this is weird and but I did notice my headlights were not flashing on and off my fog lights my fog lamps my whatever um nothing else was whacking out on the car at the time so what I did do was I went back inside the house I got the key come back to start the car up and got the key started my car up and then after I started it up what happened was the uh, interior lights continued to you know flicker on and off as well as the power door locks continue to lock and unlock latch and unlatch um, and then what happened after I started the motor up so I start the engine up turn the key over and then what happens is my windshield wipers start whacking out and at that point I, I'm really I'm like Okay, this is weird, you guys. Um, and I found it to be weird because I, I really, I've seen cars do some honestly weird things because I used to be a mechanic for Honda, uh, Honda uh, Auto Parts, actually at the Honda dealership. And um, I did that for a short while. And I've been working on cars since I was maybe 11 years old. I get that from my dad, an absolute beautiful man. He is the greatest. Um, but yeah, so I've been working on cars since I was 11. I was a girl mechanic for Honda, and um, I see cars do some things, but I thought this was definitely like some of the weirdest of weird, if not out of the movie Possessed, like Christine, the car movie, kind of like that. Um, and then I was expecting the radio to start going on and off, but that didn't. So now my windshield wipers are whacking out, so... Okay, so I thought, well, you know, with all this whacking out, I was afraid that it's going to drain my battery, and I have a fairly new battery, so I'm like, I'm going to pull the battery out. Um, once I pull the battery out, everything stops, of course, and then I'm off to, uh, you know, investigate, figure out what it is. Like I said, I thought it was my fuse boxes, or my, I thought it was my fuse box with my fuses. I went to the fuse box first. That looked okay, no big deal, replaced a few fuses, just to reiterate some old information that I just previously said, um, you know, 
thought it was my power relays. It was none of that. And then I'm like, oh no, electrical problems. Headaches, here I come. Hey, you know what I mean? <laughs> and nobody wants electrical problems with cars or trucks, you know. We just don't because that really, you know, that's a headache, you guys. Nobody's got time for a headache. You work as much as I do. You're as busy as I am. You don't have time for headaches, you know what I mean? So um, anyhow, got it all replaced. Everything is great now. Like I said, the technical name of this is a OE, is a Ford because it went in a Ford. I'm not even going to tell you the make and model for crazy YouTube reasons, <laughs> but yeah, um, that's getting old. But anyhow, uh, it's an OEM multifunction gem module. Okay, so it is what it is. That's what it is. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your time. I love you guys. Take care. Oh, and I'm on my way to work out. Got my, got my iPod here and got my headphone, my Bose headphones there, and I'm ready to rock and roll. I'm out the door. I'm so busy. It's Friday. I'm going to work through the weekend, but you know, I was, I, I almost said I'm going to enjoy the weekend, but I mean, I'm still going to enjoy the weekend technically. Yes, because it is what it is, but I'm going to work through the weekend. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Talk to you beauties later. Bye, guys.